Well, as the world observes Earth Hour Day uh, today, University of KwaZulu-Natal is picking up plastic waste at the Durban Harbour. The cleanup event is in collaboration with the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and the Association of Commonwealth Universities. The data of the waste collected will form part of an international study that aims to quantify and mitigate plastic abandons in South Africa. For more on this, we now cross over to our reporter, Jade Lee Polso, who now joins us. Uh, Jade Lee, tell us what's currently happening. Good morning. Well, a very good morning to you, Aldrin, and to the viewers back at home. And I'm sure many are going to be observing Earth Hour today. But here in KwaZulu-Natal, a different observation is taking place. The KwaZulu-Natal University is partnering with the Norwegian University, and they have been picking up plastics for the better part of the morning. And, you know, just speaking to some of the students who are involved in this initiative, many are saying that the reason they are assisting is because there's far too many plants plastics lying around on the ground, Aldrin. Plastics are also ending up in the Durban Harbour. The birds are seeing these colourful plastics on the ground and eating them and they too are getting infected but it's also the marine life that are being infected here at the harbour. But I'm going to be speaking to Rafil Weh Mafakeng, she's a marine biologist, to ex explain to us the initiative behind this Rafil Weh but also the significance of um, doing this during Earth Hour. Thank you. Uh, so today is, is Earth Hour and we felt it best to communicate the message of just pollution, environmental pollution, because we only have one Earth to go around and it's best to, uh, for us to, to look after it and to sustain it. Uh, so today is um, a, a beach, our harbour cleanup rather, that we have organised just one for awareness and two to gather the stats of what is what the impact we have on the environment. I mean, it's, a, it's an initiative that's been going on since, since 2016, and we have been, as you correctly stated, finding you know dead birds everywhere due to ingesting polluted plastic and uh, plastic bottles and lids and all of that. And the marine life has been suffering, but now, as you know, we've just been through this pandemic, you know, the COVID-19, and one big worry that's just coming along, was coming through, is the once of use masks. And because we have this throwaway culture as a people, um, then, you know, we are bound to find them lying around, and that also adds on the problem that we already have, you know, so that's uh, an, an awareness program that we, we just, just pushing up there, yeah. Okay, so Rufil, where you say this has been um, an ongoing study since 2016, what have you found? How much pollution is actually ending up in our oceans, in our river streams? Are there any statistics that go with this? And also in South Africa, do you have any stats that speak to how much we are putting in our oceans, uh, speaking of pollution that is? Yes, um, you know, uh, with uh, South Africa, we are known as the blue planet for a reason because 75% of our water, of, of our planet is water and um, a lot of, you know, the pollution that happens in the water is, is going unnoticed and of that 75%, 95% is actually uh, the ocean and, you know, there's a lot of life. So two in three breaths that we take is actually from the ocean and not from the trees. So that's also something that we, you know, people don't know. If we pollute the, the ocean, then we actually polluting us or detrimenting ourselves in the, in the end. Um, in as, in as far as stats is concerned, we 80% from 2016 we've been finding consistently that 80% of what we pick up is plastic and plastic bottles and plastic litter and straws and all of the polystyrene that um, we get. Uh, so because of that, uh, we, we, we really want to come back you know, and see what is it that we find. Is the problem exacerbated? What impact COVID has had? And uh, try and really, if, as you can see, people are having their data sheets and writing down and putting down all the data that we can collect. So we know how to mi mitigate the, the problem further. And I know that a lot of chain stores and organizations are trying to move away from plastics and use other means like brown paper bags. I see that, you know, where we're sitting Elden right now, I, I can't tell you how much debris is lying around on these rocks and it's absolutely shocking. But I must make mention of the fact that unfortunately we've also seen several masks lying around with Philbert. And this is very sad. I mean, we're living in a pandemic now and this is also going to create a huge problem. We've seen too, far too many masks lying around. 
way too much. I think it again speaks to the throwaway culture that we have. Um, when we use um, a, an item or plastic, we don't really get to understand or think about the, the life cycle of it. So, you know, it lasts 20 minutes in your hands, but then it's, you know, 20 years in the environment. And, you know, you must think about the contaminants that it comes with. So, um, it, it speaks to by accumulation of waste up the food chain. And the food chain, unfortunately, includes us as well. So, it really is, you know, we cannot afford to live in silos. We cannot afford to just not care about the environment because we are part of the environment and there's only one, again, to go around. And we, ha we really have to start thinking considerably about what is it that we want to do and, you know, work collaboratively with, with one another. Thank you so much. That was Rafael Wormoff, a King, a marine biologist at the University of, of KwaZulu Natal, just speaking about the initiative that they're running down here at the Durban Harbour, cleaning up. As I said before, there's several plastics lying around, several debris, and these students just behind me have been busy since the early morning trying to clear as much as they can. And I must also make mention of the fact that there's, you know, there's a high tide that's actually about to happen right now, and we're going to be moving shortly away from that. But it just goes to show how all of this pollution ends up back in our ocean. So for Earth Hour, the UKZN is really teaming up with the Norwegian University and several other organizations to try and clear as much debris as possible and do what they can for the Earth. It's back to you in studio, Aldrin. Thank you so much for that, JT. Well, considering that they're picking up masks there, that also tells you that waste is a human problem. It is a societal problem. We're going to go